So guys, I just want to say sorry for not uploading in the past two to three days. I really do want to say sorry. Um, I actually do miss making videos for the last two to three days. But you're probably wondering, you know, what have I been doing for the last two to three days? I've basically been working on my one year anniversary uh, video for YouTube. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that video in about three days. I have been working so hard on it, and I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for that. But in today's video, guys, we are going to be basically customizing Brian O'Connor's uh, Nissan Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. I've actually been waiting for this car to come into GTA online for a long long time I've actually been waiting like one to two years for this car to come into GTA because uh, I actually used to watch videos on a mod for this car about like a year ago and I really wanted this car to come into GTA online but basically hey, you guys know, it is finally in GTA online now I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can customize it and basically make it like Brian O'Connor's car cool, so guys uh, basically I will show you guys all the things I put on the car to make it look somewhat similar to his car car now just keep in mind it's not similar to his car but it is somewhat close to his car so uh, basically for the bumpers uh, for the front bumpers I put painted extended splitter um, I don't know why basically just because it lines up with the car I kind of like it more than the other ones so I would recommend using painted extended splitter for the front bumper and then guys for the rear bumpers I use carbon race diffuser um, it doesn't really matter what you use on here um, I just chose this one just because I kind of like the style on the back of the car itself I really do like that and then guys a bumper accessories I basically didn't put I put remove bumper mesh uh, just because it really looks bad if you guys actually look at it um, if you remove bumper mesh actually looks really really nice just like that so I would recommend using that and then intercoolers I use intercooler with a water sprayer um, I don't think it really matters which one you use but I think this one has much of a better look on it than the other ones so I would recommend using intercooler with water sprayer Alright guys, so basically for the chases, I used none for the headlight trim, and then for the doors, I used painted wind deflectors, uh, and then guys, for fenders, I used primary color bolt on arches. So guys, I know I'm probably talking really fast, I just want to say sorry. Uh, I'm just going to get through this, you guys can pause the video and go and select the things for the car, and then you guys can, you know, resume the video and continue on. Uh, so for the engine block, I put carbon valve cover. It does not really matter what you put for the engine cover, it does not. I would recommend not even using one because it's not even seeable by players online. And then guys, for cam cover, I put blue exposed Werner pulleys. Once again, you don't have to put a cam cover. Uh, the only reason I put this is basically because it's blue and it matches the car itself. And then guys, for strut brace, I put basic strut brace, so like I didn't change any of them. I just kept it what it is right now. And then guys, for the engine tunes, uh, basically is the level 4 for me. Whatever you guys use, I use level 4. Just because I'm past level 100, I believe. That's the level you have to be past. Or no, you have to do a bunch of races. But uh, for the exhaust, I did chrome tip exhaust. Just because the other, you know, exhausts don't look too great. Um, I would recommend using chrome tip. I actually do uh, really like that. It removes uh, one of the, it removes the right side exhaust. And just has the left side exhaust alone. So I actually do like that feature. And then guys, for the grill, I put just stock grill. I don't really like any of the grills. Uh, the stock grill is just basically really nice. I just use that. I don't really use any other ones. And then for hood, I put no hood accessories. And for the hood itself, I didn't put any accessories as well. Like I said, you guys can change it up. As you see, uh, you guys can put like a performance hood, a double vented hood, a raised extreme hood. But that's not what the car looks like uh, from Too Fast, Too Furious. So I would not use those if I were you. I would stick to the main hood itself. And then guys, for the interior, I actually, for the trim design, I didn't put anything. For the trim color, I put racing blue. And then guys, for the dash, I put a carbon dash and stripped interior. Like I said, you guys can customize this interior all by yourself. You don't have to use my recommendations. Uh, just because it doesn't really matter which ones you guys use. 
uh, for the interior because it's basically your choice outside the car is really what we're focused on right now so uh, basically the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is the livery so basically this is the livery from Too Fast Too Furious on the car it is called Midnight Racer uh, it looks exactly the same from Too Fast Too Furious so there it is guys you gotta put it on I think it costs like thirty thousand dollars but it's totally worth it if you want to drive out as Brian O'Connor's uh, Nissan Skyline and then guys for uh, the respray basically for the primary color you're going to put silver and as well for the secondary color you're going to put silver and then guys for the trim color I just put racing blue you guys can do whatever you want customize it however you want totally up to you guys and then for the roof accessories I put none and then for the roof itself I put none as well uh, just because it makes the car look like Brian O'Connor's I really do like that uh so for the skirts guys i put secondary drift skirts if you guys walk through all of them i think secondary drift skirts looks really really good so i would recommend using that and then guys spoiler i actually use drift wing if you guys look at the other spoilers i mean they're not really that matchable to brian o'connor's car um i know some people actually use like the carbon rs wing just because it has the stripes on it or the 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 carbon classic rs wing but i would recommend using drift wing because it looks exactly similar to his car and then guys for the suspension transmission turbo you guys can use whatever you want uh you guys can use whatever wheels you want as well but if you're wondering what wheels i put i pretty sure i put i don't remember which one it was it was like endo v2 uh if you guys go like down the tuner and then you guys go to uh endo v2 which this is the wrong one i'm pretty sure it's in high end it's called uh endo v2 i don't remember where it is currently right now I'm pretty sure it's in must. No, I don't even know where it is. So you guys can use whatever you guys want. Uh, I use Endo V2. Here it is. It's in the sport category. It makes it you know look somewhat similar to Brian O'Connor's car. So I would recommend using those tires. You guys can use whatever tires you want, as I said before. So feel free to do whatever you guys want with the car uh, wheels if you want. Uh, for the wheel color, I just left it alloy, which is the regular color for the tires. And then you guys can do whatever you guys want with this as well. I did. Put both two bulletproof tires um and then for the tire smoke i bought blue tire smoke so that's totally up to you guys what you guys want to do there and then for the windows you guys can pull whatever you want as well i put dark smoke which you know kind of looks really nice on the car um and it looks very very similar to brian o'connor's uh you know night nissan skyline so yeah there you guys have it there is the customization for brian o'connor's uh night nissan skyline from too fast to furious i was really hoping for them to actually add this car into gta and they finally did uh so i would recommend guys to go get yourself this car basically this is the lg um and basically when you get the lg because it's obviously free uh if you're a social club member uh basically this car is free and once you guys get it you just have to go to benny's and pay nine hundred thousand dollars to upgrade it to the nissan skyline and then you guys can start doing your customizations from there so yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and i hope this helped a lot of you if it did please leave a like and let me know that in the comments if you guys want to see any other gta tutorials from me i usually do call of duty tutorials but today i decided to do a gta 5 tutorial if you guys want to see any more gta 5 tutorials from me let me know and if you guys want to see any call of duty tutorials from me let me know down as well uh so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out